Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Tuesday, election day. Thanks for uh, thanks for electing to do 2018 Topps Gold Label Baseball. Topps Gold Label Baseball, it appreciates your vote. 16 box, pick your team number four. It's election humor, folks. Pick your team number four. Oh, I should add some McTalka to the playlist. You're right, Robert. We continue a previous conversation from before. All right, here we go. No, Arthur says no Metallica. We'll have a little something for everybody. I do need to change up the playlist for November. Scott McNulty, Double Last Spot Mojo, Giants and Rays. Wait, Scott, did I remember to put your names in the promo? I don't think I did. I got, I got to do this before I forget. I got to put this guy here. I forgot you too, Eric. All right, and then two Scots. All right. We have an all-spot sold promo going on tonight, folks. Check out the details on jazbeescasebreaks.com. You need a little more country? Are we talking like 90s Faith Hill, Tim McGraw sort of stuff? Are we talking 1930s, 1930s kind of country? Or maybe some 1950s, 60s? Patsy Cline kind of country? Some Martina McBride? Maybe some 80s Reba McIntyre, some Brooks and Dunn. Can do that, I guess. What about some new country? What about some Rascal Flats? Casey Musgraves? And Casey Musgraves? Little... Carrie Underwood? All right, there you go. One frame auto per box. Good luck, everybody. Some George Strait? Get a little more country. There we go. Good luck, everybody. Oh, is that a redemption? Any guesses on that redemption, ladies and gentlemen? All right, so Robert Rohr wants more Metallica. Arthur wants more George Strait. So we'll have like we'll have like what's a good, we'll have like Master of Puppets going into some George Strait classic. That'd be that'd be a pretty awesome playlist. And a framed auto. Interesting. Rashad Penny on the redemption. We have not seen enough Rashad Pennies today. All right. We actually have. Good luck, everybody. We got 11 out of 50. Mike Piazza for the Mets. Joe Kroll. We'll save some Otanis. We've got Cody Bellinger at a 150. For the Dodgers. We'll make sure these get top loaded before they get sent out. What should we do? Should we do frame first or redemption first? First to three wins. First to three. Frame or redemption. And that's what I'll do. Scott Carey on the back. Scott McNulty says absolutely more Metallica. All right. I have no problem with Metallica. I'll get some on the list. We got two votes for Redemption. Third would A third vote would make Redemption go first. It's audience participation, Robert Rohr. This will keep people awake too, the East Coasters. I know it's late. And Redemption, says Cody West. All right. Redemption first. And Brad, Redemption too. Redemption, run away, run away winner. You are due to receive a framed autograph card. So we'll get two in this box. Oh, oh just a framed autograph, no parallel, nothing. Of D, Didi, Didi, Gregorius, nice. D 
Didi Gregorius for the Yankees. Joe Kroll with the Bronx Bombers. There you go. Nice frame auto, D.D. Gregorius. And a bonus auto hiding behind Randy Johnson. It's going to be Austin Meadows. 20 out of 25. Nice low number for the Pirates. Joe Kroll with the Buckos as well. Nice. All right, nice start. Next box. Good luck, everybody. Um, when do we have uh, when do we have awards? Baseball awards. When are they coming up? This week? Is it this week? Next week? Cody West. Yes, you're correct. Well, no, that's not true. I don't really follow college sports in general not because i don't like it but it's literally i just don't have time for it i've got enough pro sports in my head <laughs> between baseball football basketball epl soccer english premier league champions league curling Got to keep up with all the curling leagues. A little bit of, I'm trying to get into hockey. And I got to get college sports in there. <laughs> Sorry, college sports. You know, I think part of it is that I just didn't, I didn't go to a D1 school. If I went to a D1 school, 53 out of 99, um, I, would, I would probably be more into it. All right, that's Ichiro, Mariners edition, going to Robert Rohr. And behind Josh Donaldson is, <laughs> is Ichiro. Behind Ichiro is Paul DeYoung. That goes to the Redbirds. Aaron with the Cardinals. Nice. So I got to watch who play before before the year? Well, I mean, I usually I end up watching... Uh, I end up watching the tournament, obviously. And then I'll pretend to be an expert then, just like everybody else. No, you'll, you, during March Madness, you'll start hearing me, hear me talk about, oh, this team, that. That, that team had, had, had three returning players. Of course, the upperclassmen, the team with, the, with a lot more upperclassmen are going to beat the, beat the underclass, underclassmen team early in the tournament. <laughs> Oh, nice, Brad. You got your 5 out of 5 Noah Syndergaard from Flawless. Look nicer in person, don't they? Oh, so Duke. Zion Williamson. And R.J. Barrett may go 1 and 2 overall. 12 minutes left, and Duke has 91 points. Who are they playing, though? All right, next box. We got Frank Thomas, the big hurt. Out of 75, that'll go to Scott McNulty. Corey Kluber, out of 150. Well, they're playing Kentucky? Wow. So is, is, are, you trying, are you saying that Duke is, like, is going to be the, the Alabama of college basketball? Klub for the Tribe, and that goes to Arthur and Frank Thomas, Scott McNulty with the White Sox once again. Jose Altuve. And a Walker Bueller will reveal a Royal, Cool Whit Merrifield. Uh, Joe Kroll with the Royals. I don't think, well, I'll have to double check with Nick. I'm pretty sure we didn't get any Donruss basketball. We traditionally don't do Donruss basketball or Donruss football. You know what I mean? Wow, 
Wow, the, the Kings are up. See, I'm trying to watch more hot. Kings are up 3-0 on the Anaheim Ducks. I guess I don't know if the Ducks are having that great of a season either. No one has any word on when all the baseball awards are going to be? That's the frame. Clint Frazier to 99. When's a 20 case? 20 case or of what, Arthur? Jake Lamb, 41 out of 50. Jake signs to the Lambs going to Arthur and his Snakes, Diamondbacks. Oh, wow. Farhan Zaidi to head Giants' baseball operations. That's interesting. That's the Dodgers, uh, Dodgers GM going to the enemy. Maybe a little front office shakeup. I guess if he's going to be going from GM to GM to president of baseball operations, that's a an upgrade for him. And he doesn't have to do like the daily grind of of GM work. Interesting. The Dodgers front office has received mixed uh, mixed results for some some fans out there. For me, I think the front office has done okay, but I think everyone kind of points the finger at them for being a little too analytical when they should be a little more baseball-y, you know, especially in the playoffs when when you got kind of have to go a little more by feel. Analytics will work great during the season, though. That's interesting. Let's do this first, end the frame. All right, good luck, everybody. There's Corey Seager to 75. Having him back will be huge for the Dodgers. It's Paul Goldschmidt. Arthur, they, they said that they were Diamondbacks front office were willing to list, at least listen to offers for Goldschmidt. They didn't say they were going to move him, but listen to offers. What do you think? Manny Machado to 150. Where does he go? Where does he end up? Maybe not with the Dodgers because they got this guy, Corey Seager. Dodgers might go for Bryce Harper. There's Cano. There's J.P. Crawford revealing an Austin Meadows. Another Austin Meadows for Joe Kroll and the Buccos. All right, Arthur, Arthur's, not, Arthur's not worried. He's like, eh, just listen. They're just, li they're just listening unless... Someone makes like a godfather deal, godfather offer. Now someone, I forgot who was mentioning this earlier. Maybe it was Landon. Someone was mentioning earlier, earlier that, that Bryce Harper may consider a move to first base, maybe to continue to up his value. But I feel like that's not that big of a deal because I think a lot of people like – it's like basketball. I think positional flexibility is is an increasingly bigger bigger deal. So I don't, I don't know if that's as huge of a deal as people may make it out to be. It's like, all right, well, you can sign him as an outfielder and still put him at first base anyway. But I think more and more players are buying into that sort of positional flexibility sort of deal. I think for Machado, it's a little different because 
I think he does get more value if he demands to be a shortstop. But I think once he gets paid, I think he'll he'll be like, I'll play anywhere, anywhere in the field. He's a good fielder. All right, there's J.P. Crawford, 21 out of 50 for the Phillies. Eric Coyle, that parallel. It's Aaron Judge, 74 out of 99 for the Yankees. Joe Kroll. All right, behind Mo is, wow, Rex, don't look, 12 out of 15, Rex is probably, listening. don't look, Rex, now sometimes he listens and doesn't watch, so just don't, maybe mute, mute for a little bit, 12 out of 15, Nolan Ryan for the Houston Astros, and that's Joe Kroll, JK, with the Houston Astros. There you go, Joe. Wait, you waited all day for this. Bought spots at the beginning of the show. We're, we're about an hour or so away from the end of the show. It's, we finally got it done. There it is. Nice Nolan Ryan Astros edition. Congrats. It's a nice hit. <clears throat> All right. Next box. So Giants naming former Dodger GM Farhan uh, Zaidi, president of baseball operations. DePoto, GM of the Mariners, downplays the possibility of a Mariners rebuild. Yankees. And CC Sabathia agreeing to a one-year deal. And apparently, the National made it, made a quote aggressive extension offer to Harper near the end of the season. Dodgers, not surprisingly, are nearing an extension with Dave Roberts. Lance McCullers Jr. undergoes Tommy John surgery. I didn't realize that. White Sox extend Rick Renteria. National sign Trevor Rosenthal. Philip Goodman looking for some Juan Soto's or Bryce Harper's. That's some of the late. Seems like the latest, latest news, baseball news for now. All right, next box. Good luck, everybody. Goldie, forty-four out of fifty for Arthur. Max Scherzer to one fifty. And your framed autograph, it's Benintendi, Miguel Cabrera, and Reese Hoskins. Nice one for the Phillies. Eric Coyle in the Phillies. It's one of the later teams picked up, I think. It's got a nice autograph, too. All right, next box. I'm seeing where uh, where the MLB awards are. That's what I was kind of looking for.
Ah, here we go. Finalists for MVP, Cy Young, Rookie of the Year, Manager of the Year, unveiled. Yeah, I know. I love Gold Label too, Gilo. It's a good set. I love the frame autographs. The frame autographs never get old. Okay, so the... Well, let's do this box first. I'll tell you where all the where when and where all the awards are happening. Chris Archer, out of fifty for the Rays. There's Jackie Robinson, twenty four out of ninety nine. Twenty four is a reverse of forty two. There's Rizzo, there's Trout, and there's, boom, Harrison Bader. Darth Bader going to Aaron and the Redbirds. Nice one for the Cardinals. All right, folks, we're halfway through this break. Time for the second half. Good luck to all, and to all the good luck. So speaking of Jackie Robinson, we just saw his parallel there for a second for the Dodgers for Nick. Um, AL and NL Jackie Robinson Rookie of the Year Awards Monday the 12th alright so it looks like they're all next week Monday next Monday the 12th will be the Rookies of the Year AL and NL that Tuesday the 13th will be AL and NL Managers of the Year Wednesday the 14th will be AL and NL Cy Young Awards and Thursday the 15th will be AL and MV NL MVP Awards so all next week There's a lot of good baseball to talk about Your AL MVP finalists, and let me know what who you think should win the award. Mookie Betts, Jose Ramirez, Mike Trout. I guess those are your three finalists. Oh, that's how they're doing doing it now these days. No JD Martinez. Hmm, interesting. I thought he would at least back in. I don't think his WAR was as high. His wins above replacement, which is not the end all be all, but a good broad way to look at a season. And compare it to other players, but um, uh, but I don't think his WAR was as high as some of those other guys. Brian Dozier, ninety nine. What's up, Rusty? We pulled some nice stuff tonight, Rusty. A lot of a lot of triple autographs out of that XR from earlier. There's Ichiro to one fifty. That's kind of out of the blue, Cody Wise. Cody Wise blurting out, Big Ben went to my high school. Cool. Raleigh Fingers went to my high school. There. <laughs> Any thoughts? Mookie Betts, Jose Ramirez, Mike Trout. Who wins it? All right, behind Kluber is Strasburg. Behind Strasburg is Aaron Nola. For the Phillies. Nice one for Eric Coyle. I got Reese Hoskins and Aaron Nola. That was one of the last teams left. Just sitting there. All right, Hayes. What up, Hayes? Hayes says Mookie bets. I think I'd lean Mookie as well. Philip Goodman saying that Marion Barber the third ran me over in high school football. All right, what about AL MVP? Your three finalists for AL MVP. Yeah, Mookie was pretty incredible this year, Gilo. NL MVP, Nolan Arenado, Javier Baez, Christian Yelich. You got to think it's, it's got to be Yelich, right? If DeGrom, but I don't, I think they do it differently now, Hayes. If DeGrom's not one of those three finalists, those Baseball Writers of America finalists, I don't think he's eligible then. Because they only put those three guys on like TV and then they all, then they open the envelope and all that. Yeah, that's right, Eric. Boom. Eric, still a lot of internal discussions about, about some of that boathouse stuff. 
we like what we're seeing. We just have to figure out what we're going to get. Out of 150, Walker Bueller, great season for him. Yeah, I think I think Yelich has got this one. What about AL Cy Young? There's Walker Bueller. AL Cy Young, apparently your three finalists are Corey Kluber, Blake Snell, and Justin Verlander. There's Tanaka, there's Derek Jeter, and Ryan McMahon. Rockies, Arthur with that framed autograph. I like. I kind of want to give to Blake Snell just to. <laughs> just, I wonder if that's like a narrative among baseball writers. Rays had a gr Rays had a great season. You know, if they if they were in the AL Central, they might have won the division. You know, maybe you give that award to Blake Snell. I, I, I lean Blake Snell, but it'll probably go to Kluber or Verlander. I think the AL Cy Young's kind of obvious, right? That's Jacob deGrom. We had a pretty dominating season. Aaron Nolan, Max Scherzer are your other finalists. Um, gosh, I think if, if, if Jacob deGrom didn't exist, I think that Aaron Nola would probably win it. He had a great season. And Scherzer is kind of like Mike Trout or kind of like LeBron James or you know any great player like that, right? They're all, always up for – they always should be a most valuable player, but they don't always get it kind of thing. All right, next box. You can't can't give it to. Sorry, I missed that. Nineteen out of twenty-five. George Brett Royals. That goes to Joe Kroll. I mean, he's got to win it though. The NL Cy Young. He was that good. There he is again, Jacob DeGrom. And behind him is Ozzie Albius. Nice. That goes to DMAC and the Atlanta Braves, which takes you to the NL Rookie of the Year, of which Ozzie Albius is not a finalist. Well, there you go, DMAC. Could have been a finalist if his teammate Ronald Acuna Jr. didn't exist. So Ronald Acuna Jr., is your NL Rookie of the Year finalist, along with Walker Bueller and Juan Soto. I don't think... I don't I wonder if... I don't, I don't know if Walker Bueller is quite going to get it. It's, it's going to come down to Acuna or Juan Soto. I'd like I'd like Walker Bueller to get it, but I say Man, that's tough. I would vote for Ronald Acuna Jr. But it's hard to deny Juan Soto. That's gonna be a close one. AL rookie of the year. Your your uh your three finalists are Miguel Andujar, his teammate Glaber Torres. And show you Otani. Right, I think I th I think you're right, Hayes. Hayes is saying um, there's Javier Baez candidate. Um, Hayes is saying, hey, you know. Hayes is saying, hey, Hayes is saying that Acuna's contribution to get to get the Braves to the playoffs will give him the edge over Juan Soto. I think at the end of the day, that's what the writers will think as well. I think Otani gets the this might be close. I think Otani gets the AL rookie of the year simply because of his two-way playing abilities. 
and the fact that he he did those two things well. All right, behind Machado, your next frame autograph is Ahmed Rosario. Metropolitans, Joe Kroll with the Mets. All right, four framed autos to go, ladies and gentlemen. We're almost there. About another 10 minutes or so left in the break. We're a little bit past 9 on the West Coast, a little bit past midnight on the East Coast. I don't see any other orders coming in. So people may be slowing down just before, just because it, it is the night before Triple Threads Baseball. And it's getting to the point where it's the night before Triple Threads and all through the house. Not a creature is staring, not even a mouse. Anyway, yeah, I, th I think Otani may be, may be getting that Rookie of the Year award. I wonder if Glaber Torres and and Miguel Andujar being the three, two of the three finalist teammates, if their votes, if they kind of cancel each other out, if they split that vote, I don't know. All right, next box. All right, there's Donnie Baseball, Don Mattingly out of 150. All right, behind Ian Happ and Johnny Bench is Paul DeYoung, 9 out of 75. Another one for Aaron and the Cardinals. Next one. Good luck, boys and girls. We have manager of the year candidates on this list here. We do. AL manager of the year, Kevin Cash for the Rays, Alex Cora, Red Sox, Bob Melvin, A's. Now remember these, I think the voting for this happens before, before the playoffs or by the end of the playoffs. So I'm pretty sure, um, pretty sure Alex Cora is going to get it. 108 wins, most in Red Sox history. That's got to do it, right? The Bob Melvin with the A's? That could be interesting. There's Walker Bueller, kind of a dark horse candidate for the Rookie of the Year award. Out of 75 for the Dodgers, that'll be for Nick. Wow, and a one of one Buster Posey. Ooh. Scott McNulty with one of his last spot mojo teams, the Giants, gets the class two one of one Buster Posey. Nice. Oppo Joe Mojo as well. All aboard the Big Hit Express, Scott. Whoop, whoop. That is nice. All right. Behind Justin Verlander and the other Justin, Justin Upton, is Jose Barrios. That goes to Philip Goodman and the Twins. Uh, Rusty, well, let me finish this baseball break, and then we'll get to what football stuff showed up. Um, I am excited for triple tops, triple threads baseball, though. That's right, Philip. You got a hit. Nice. Congrats, man. Um, I am very excited about tops, triple threads baseball. That is one of their flagship products. You know, they always do a solid job on it every year. I expect this year to be no different. It'll probably be better than last year. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking, 
Looking forward to it. We got pre-orders on the site right now, ladies and gentlemen, for that Topps Triple Threads baseball. Comes out tomorrow, Wednesday. So pick your teams now. They, they come in uh, nine box inner cases. So breaks one and two. I think that's a relic. One and two will be from the same master case, three and four, and so on and so forth. You know, they, they, they always do a great job with the relics, the design, the autographs, the patches. And I feel like there's a lot of like opportunities to see real kind of jaw dropping sort of hits. All right, let's do the relic first. So there's Ozzy Albius and there's Trey Mancini, and the relic is going to be one out of five Mark McGuire game use legends relic. That is for Jared and the A's. He bought into Gold Label because he was looking for a Big Mac. Now I'm sure he was looking for ink along with this too. But I'm sure he'll take this one out of five game used relic. Nice. Jared, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Max Scherzer, Ted Williams, and Garrett Cooper for the fish. Arthur with the Marlins. Garza, what's going on? Yeah, me too, Eric. And Triple Threads is a pretty popular brand, so I, we're gonna we're gonna do a lot of that tomorrow, I'm sure. I think we got a decent amount of it too. I think we get. I think we can. I think we have enough for the pick your teams tomorrow, and then we we'll get more cases on Friday. I think we should cover the random teams, maybe a little bit more after that. Uh, let's finish off these awards here. I think Alex Corum, AL Manager of the Year, makes sense. NL Manager of the Year. Uh, we got Bud Black for the Rockies, Craig Council for the Brew Crew, and Brian Snitker for the Braves. I feel like it comes down to Craig Council or Brian Snitker for the Bravos. I don't know. Coin flip? Hey, says Snitker. You know, I might lean there too, right? Just because he he had such a young team, got a bunch of rookies on board, and they played out of their minds. You know, like, but he's that, saying that's just because you're a Braves fan. But I think, to me, those young players do give him the edge, right? Now, no doubt, Brew Crew had a great season too, but, you know, they had Christian Yelich, they had Ryan Braun. You know, they had some, some little more established players added to their added to their team. I don't think Charlie Manuel is a uh, is a finalist. 90 out of 99, Carlos Correa. And our last framed auto coming up. Last one is going to be behind Kershaw. Behind Chris Sale is Paul Goldschmidt. 10 out of 25 from Gold Label. That card is gold for Arthur and the Diamondbacks. Arthur doing, doing pretty well in the breaks in recent weeks. There it is. Yeah, there it is, Arthur. Goldschmidt for your snakes. Great way to end it. Thanks very much, everyone. Thanks for filling up this break. Really appreciate it. Some nice stuff popping out of here. Um, and we'll see if we can track down some more gold label for you guys as well. Join us tomorrow for Tops Triple Threads Baseball, jazbeescasebreaks.com. You can pre-order now. For those of you watching live, we still have a little time to do a couple more breaks if you'd like. We'll see you for the next one. Bye-bye.